in the world, we have a lot of data. Okay, People do not really know what to do with it. So data ethics is all about understanding the data set by taking the raw data and uncover patterns to extract valuable insight. First of all, it leads to more effective marketing. So if you might realize, right, okay, uh, when all the advertisements, somehow they come to you, right? Okay, In a way, this is gone through some study about your profile, okay, about your behavior. So in a way, you become a more targeted audience. So if you are responding well to all the advertisement, means they are doing a more effective marketing. Okay, In a way, they use the data to understand consumer behavior. And in return, it'll drive up uh, revenue for the organization. Improved decision making, especially on the strategic point of view. Okay, if I have uh, option A, option B, okay, the data itself can tell me like which will be a more beneficial option. So with all data on hand, okay, it's easier for companies to do their decision making. Better customer service. Okay, this is also through the data collection point, where you know we they collect all our feedback, they collect all our uh, survey and everything, right? In a way, it's to personalize the service to all of us. Right, some companies are very good at customer service, maybe like Apple, for example. Okay, their uh, customer service is pretty good. Okay, according to my experience, right? So, in a way, by collecting all these data points, okay, we are able to service the customer better. In return, you retain a lot of customer. You won't have this kind of a high uh, turnover of customers, customers leaving for other competitors. So, in a way, it's to provide better customer service. End goal, okay, is to also to drive revenue. So I've been keep talking about revenue and so on, okay? but we also can talk about the cost side of things. More efficient operation. Data ethics can be used to find out bottlenecks, especially in the supply chain. Okay, Where are the bottlenecks? Uh, which part of the shipping days okay, actually takes longer? Which part of the whole process line uh, is actually slowing down? So we can make use of data ethics to find the data point uh, and then okay, propose some strategies to resolve those problems. Talking about the skill set you probably need, okay? Technical skill set, definitely data analysis, SQL or Python, these are all the technical stuff. These are the technical stuff probably you should acquire, okay? It will be helpful when you enter in all the, into all this role. Business intelligence tools, okay? Software visualization tools like Tableau, okay? Vertical Institute teach Tableau, but there are other software as well, such as Power BI or Click as well. These are all like the tools for people to uh, use to provide insights. Okay, fundamental statistics, you don't need like rocket science, okay? But at least some fundamentals, right? To understand your data uh, at a certain level. Critical thinking, okay? I think that's one of the important ones, right? Most of the time, I, uh, I spend the time thinking. Not so much of coding. I was like thinking, how am I going to build this data set, right? How am I going to clean this data set and so on, right? So sometimes it involves quite a bit of critical thinking, logical thinking when you're dealing with data. Right. So some of these concepts are you sometimes cover in class, like the thought process when you are doing data sets. Okay, presentation skill, communication, this falls under the soft skill side. Uh, when you have a good analysis, you do need to present to someone. Right. So you want stakeholders, you want like the VPs, you want the uh, client to support your idea. So presentation and communication sometimes is quite neglected, but it's equally important. That's why in a way, they also teach visualization. This is to convey your message to the stakeholders. More importantly, as you're going through the journey, okay, it's all about having a curious mindset and an attitude to learn. Even I've graduated from the bootcamps, from my master course, every day I'm still learning. You'll start off with framing your business problem. So when you look at your environment, okay, what business problem you have, okay, you'll come up as a framing of the problem. Then you'll start to think of like, what data should I collect to understand this problem a little bit better? And that's where the extraction process comes in. Uh, it can be quite painful in terms of extraction of data. Okay? Collection of data is not as easy as just you send the file to me. How you want to create a pipeline? How you want to create that constant flow of data? That's like another uh, another thing to think about the architect of it. Once you get a data set, okay, as analyst, you'll probably be the one wrangling the data, preparing the data, right, to make it clean because data is always never clean. You have missing data, you have duplicate data, you have data with wrong format. Normally, it's quite a painful process in terms of the wrangling, okay, and also the preparation of data. Next, once you have a clean data, you can prepare. Uh, you can start analyzing already, right? So if you have the business and knowledge, okay, the, the knowledge you acquire from your business environment, this part will help you a lot because you're able to analyze it a lot faster, okay, which leads to faster interpretation of the situation, right? So this process over here, usually the cleaning takes a lot of time. Okay, when it comes to analyzing, okay, interpreting of the data, is actually, uh, the effort is lesser, especially if you have the domain knowledge. Usually, I'll recommend my students, okay, keep your domain knowledge, okay, because they can be equally important, especially if you're applying it to your current work scope. You might notice that the arrow might go back, right? Okay, so it's an iterative process. It's not like one way and then you're done. Sometimes along the way, at any point, you might find that, oh, 
maybe I need to reframe my problem statement. I got to go back again. You have to understand, okay, what is the, uh, what's the current problem? Okay, do I need to reframe it? Okay, what other data set I might need to collect? Okay, so on and so forth. 